Hello guys and welcome to episode 1 of our science series. Okay, so now we are talking about living and non-living things in episode 1. Okay, so let's start science again. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of science with Reagan. Today I am going to cover with you the basics of science. In science, we always classify things, you know, like we classify like animals and, and other stuff like groups, right? The most common way to classify things is to classify them as living things and non-living things, okay? Things, living things are alive, while non-living things are things that were once alive or never alive. If you guys don't know, means like, didn't, if, like a wooden table was once alive, do you know why? Because it's from a tree and a tree is a living thing. So that's why a, tab a wooden table is once alive but now it's a non-living thing. So here are some examples of living things. The eagle, the snake, mushrooms and a tree. And these are non-living things that were once alive. Paper, wool, wool sweater, table, rubber boots. And these are examples of non-living things that were never alive. A plastic bag, a metal spoon, kettle, a wine glass. Characteristics of living things. Living things need air, food and water to survive. Living things grow. Here, I will show you that for example, a tadpole will grow into a frog, a caterpillar will turn into a butterfly, a chick grows to be a chicken and a seed turns into a plant. Living things reproduce. They reproduce to ensure the continuity of their kind. Animals can reproduce by giving birth or laying eggs. For example, a giraffe gives birth to its calf, a human gives birth to its baby, and a dog will give birth to a puppy. A frog will lay eggs, a cockroach lays eggs, and an eagle will lay eggs. Living beings can move by themselves. Why do they do that? Here's why. Firstly, to look for food and water, to look for shelter, to look for a mating partner, to escape from danger. Characteristics of living things Plants Plants cannot move from place to place. They can move very slowly at a fixed position. For example, the stem of a plant can move slowly towards sun. Also, the roots of a plant move and grow towards water. As you can see on this slide, the roots of the seedlings are growing towards the moist cotton wool. Characteristics of living things Living things respond to changes around them. Changes can be in the form of touch. For example, the leaves of the mimosa plant closes when touched. Changes can be in the form of sound. For example, a person covers his ears when the sound of thunder is too loud. Changes can be in the form of light. For example, the stem of a plant bends towards the light. Changes can be in the form of temperature. A dog cools off by panting and sweating via its pores. And final characteristics of living things. Living things die. Non-living things do not need air, food, and water to survive. Non-living things do not grow. Non-living things do not reproduce. Non-living things do not move by themselves. Non-living things do not respond to changes around them. Non-living things do not die. So guys, what do we do in this episode? Well, we learn the characteristics of living things and non-living things. So, before we like and subscribe and read the notifications and be ready for episode 2 of Science. to be a chicken and a chick grows to be a chicken a chicken grows to be a chicken <laughs> yeah i'm wondering what happened
kick it in. I didn't like, I don't, oh my god, I did it early. <laughs> oh my god. 